Okay, here we are. We're at the five week mark of this salt water conversion. Um, lots to report this week. Um, I bought a little clownfish and uh, he's doing fine. I'm not sure that the water's doing all that great though. It's, I don't know if you could see it from the camera, but it is, the water is very cloudy. And when you look up close, you could actually see the little fine particles that are floating around in the water. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm thinking that it's the diatoms that are just floating around in the water. Um, now this week I've installed um, a BRS reactor. I have both the carbon and the GFO in it. Let me just see if I could shows from here. I have the carbon on the top and the GFO on the bottom. Um, been running it for a few days now. I get the deluxe which has the black top. Um, those tubes, those the black tubes that you see coming out there, they're really rigid and hard to bend and um, so what I did was I, I went to Home Depot and I bought a couple I bought a about 10 feet of half inch inside diameter uh, regular tubing so that I can complete um, from the top into the tank and from the pump out to the bottom there so that's been running for a couple of days, but I, I tell you, this water is very, very cloudy, and I'm not liking it. I'm so used to the pristine water that I had with the freshwater aquarium that um, I'm not liking this. It's been like this for about a week now, ever since I had the diatom bloom. Uh, it's not getting any better. I, I've done two water changes at about 5%. Um, I've changed the water to about that mark right there, which is about 5% of the tank. I've done that twice with RO water. Um, but as, look, you can even see from here how cloudy that is. That's just very, very cloudy. And I'm not even sure that the protein skimmer is doing all that great. I mean, you could see I've been emptying out the cup. It is collecting water. But, I, you know, it's been a week now and I still got this cloudy water I'm thinking about putting the I have a canister filter a fluval canister 305 that I had when the tank was set up for fresh water I'm thinking of putting that back up because this this cloudy water is getting to me uh, I'm trying to be as patient as possible and then I'm thinking you know the reason why I was told not to put the canister filter and to use a skimmer instead was because all the pads that are in the canister filter they accumulate the debris which feeds the nitrates and makes your nitrates go up um, and you don't want pads and stuff that are accumulate the debris that's flowing through it well I'm thinking there's pads everywhere else the protein skimmer on the back there has a pad I don't know if you can see it from here on the out on the return there's a pad on the GFO reactor, there's a pad to hold the carbon in place. So, I mean, what is the difference between all of these pads and the pads that are in the canister filter? I, I, I don't get it. Anyway, um, also I've gotten in the last week a couple of snails. I've got a couple of Astraea snails. There's one right there, there's one in the rock somewhere, and I also got a couple of um, blue-legged hermit crab. And they're in the rock somewhere, just chilling out. I see them come out every now and then. I mean, I, I think I'm doing everything right. The ammonia is zero, the nitrites, I had them tested, they were at zero. The nitrates, they're at a 20, a little bit above 20. Um, I'm starting to use the RO water now, so... You know, and the funny thing is, I tested the RO water, and there sure is a difference. The regular tap water had about 15 to 20 on the nitrate scale, and the RO water is zero. 
So just by using tap water, you're introducing a lot of nitrates into the tank, and um, maybe that's why, because when I filled up the tank initially, I used regular tap water to start the aquarium. Um, maybe I should have done that, because that in itself had a lot of nitrates. So slowly but surely, I'm trying to change out the water with the RO water by doing small, frequent water changes. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, next month, my next uh, addition I think I want to do is to add a hang on the back refugium to the back there. I've been looking at the CPR aquafuge um, and I'm thinking of getting that and putting it on the back. It's either going to be that or I'm going to put the canister filter back up because this cloudy water, if it stays for more than a couple more weeks, I'm just going to, I'm going to get a little uh, bummed out. But that is the update for week five of the Saltwater Aquarium 36 gallon boat front. Here's my little fella. He seems to be doing all right. He eats. He's got a good appetite. He swims around. He's doing. He's doing good. He's happy. As far as I could tell. Um, I don't think I'm adding anything else to the tank until it, it, this situation with the cloudy water clears up um, and we'll take it from there. Anyway, that's it. Bye.